here we go. This is my final vlog. And for this one, I will be doing Drown by Diaz. In this story, it is about the, I guess you would call it, peculiar, peculiar relationship between the unnamed narrator and his childhood friend, Beto. Who, at the beginning of the story, he announces that is now gay. Since he says now, we can assume that later on, which we do know since we read it, that he does not know he is gay at a time. Which causes a very strange kind of scenes from him where he is essentially molested by his friend. Which would explain why at the beginning of the story when he's watching TV, his mother asked him to, well, not asked him, tells him that Beto is back and whether he's going to go see him or not. But he just kind of ignores her and keeps watching TV. Now back onto the TV, a lot of this story seems to take place with TVs. It seems that the TV really reflects what he is feeling, such as in the beginning when his mom says that about Beto. It seems like he's trying to absorb himself into the TV. And even later on, when him and his mom are watching TV, they are watching the news, and it specifically states that it's drama for her and violence for him. This kind of shows that, this after this, that he goes off into the past again and starts talking about it. That it referencing the horror or the craziness that took place and the drama that transpired to even nowadays from it. And again, later on when they're at school, well, we're, they're going to school, he decides he's going to skip. And what does he do? He watches TV, which I guess that's normal for a normal kid. But there's a lot of controversy nowadays on how TV can cause kids and even video games to act differently so this really shows that fact of it and again when Beto first molest him per se they are watching a porno movie which on the screen a por obviously a pornography is taking place and this is when he starts touching him mimicking what is happening on the TV well at the same time this references back to the title called Drown and why is it called Drown I feel like that the reason it's called drown is because when you're drowning, you're in a very, it's over-pressuring you, like, you have no control, it's just oh, super-powering, and I feel like Beto tries to get this overpowerment on him. Maybe he needs it to stem it for his how his sexuality is at the time he was trying to hide it, so I feel like he needs some sort of power in his life, and he just takes that out on our narrator. Na narrator. By being his source of empowerment, such as when they do all the bad deeds. He's always the one le leading them, it seems like. And he is always in the position of power, never acting like it is bad for him. Whereas our narrator, narrator is, <laughs> is super spooked about it and everything. So, this especially shows when in the moment, when he talks about how... Um, they were, uh, I, I don't remember the word, but it was about their excreting on the side of the pool. How he knows this word, but Beto does not. And this causes Beto to get angry at him, which pushes him under the water. Which shows that he really needs that position of power over him. To maybe try and make himself feel better. I'm not really sure about that. Well, anyways, getting back onto the TVs and how the TV represents the whole uh, idea of the story, when him and his mom are at the end watching TV, what they are watching is a Spanish drama, which clearly, as we stated earlier on how the TV reflect, ref, reflects their life, a Spanish drama would, well, it does greatly reflect the entire story altogether in his whole life, and how this entire story was, again, just a drama. Which makes it seem almost unreal as to how it would be kind of crazy. How your best friend without you knowing would just all of a sudden become gay and do these things to you. Which you wouldn't expect in real life. So, yeah. Anyway, that is my final vlog. So.